the genesis of HT was out of working with strings for years and understanding that if you use different materials that can get you a unique result. If you take normal materials and heat treat those, you can get a different result. And if you do both, you can get some really outstanding results. We're actually taking traditional designs like a normal humbucker or single coil, and we're incorporating these materials and processes that accentuate certain properties, uh, they bring out new characteristics. We're not necessarily completely changing how we build pickups, but we're using materials that are now specifically tailored to pickups. Most high output pickups sacrifice in one way or another. They sound compressed, they don't have the clarity, the definition of a normal pickup. In this case, you get both. You have definition, in fact, you get more definition and higher output. This is actually a bit of a natural progression from a lot of research we've already been doing with strings over the last 10 years or so. We came out with cobalt slinkies in 2012. A couple years later, we also came out with the M-Steel slinkies. So material-based innovation has been something that's really already in our DNA. We understood that the materials you use, the way in which you make or process those materials, like heat treatments and so on, can dramatically alter the way in which a, a string sounds. And so it was a natural progression then to apply that to pickups, because really that's the other side of the equation of how that magnetic exchange is, is occurring to give you the sound that you get from your electric guitar. Instead of overwinding a pickup, which also creates its own characteristics, what we've done is brought in pickup components that allow for it to work more efficiently. So it's not only signal strength, but you're getting a wider uh, frequency band. So you're actually getting more clarity, more in information on the top end, more low end. Almost it's like a more vivid picture of what your string is actually doing. Our goal really wasn't to just increase output. It was to find a new voice. It was to use materials that we could customize in order to improve the performance of the pickup. So naturally, output became something that was a result of that, but that's only because the pickup is working more efficiently. We found that this wasn't really something that was only good for one application. There's a whole range of, of ways in which we can use this. And as a result, the offerings that we have here between the Cutlass, the Stingray, the Saber, they really show the versatility and the range with which uh, HT can be used. More definition, more clarity, more information, I think is always useful. It's a lot easier to remove what you don't need than to make up for what you don't have. And this gives you far more information than what you would normally get from a pickup. We weren't necessarily trying to change how a pickup is built, but what we were trying to do is create a new voice for musicians. And with that, what we found was that we could incorporate materials and processes in order to get a new flavor, a new, a new sound that is still woven within a traditional pickup design. These are 100% passive. Uh, there's no digital gimmicks going on here. What, what this is is just using better materials to make a proven, a trusted design as good as it can be.